I've got all these opened up packages of seeds from last year from stuff I started growing. Didn't use all the seeds, of course. So we're going to take some of these and make a microgreen mix. Now this is going to be pretty easy here in the basement grow setup on this shelf. So I have these cheap cooking pans with a clear lid. And we're going to fill these up with some sifted potting soil. We're going to throw our microgreen mix in there and set them under these grow lights. These are 6,000 lumen and 5,000 K. 20 bucks at Rural King. I had zucchinis grow and start flowering under these. These grow lights work really good and they're really cheap. There are different growing mediums you can use, but I'm just going to take some of this potting soil and sift it into here. Now you don't need a whole lot. I got about two inches in here right now. We're not growing full size plants, so we're not worried about the root system too much. So this will do just fine. And I just pat it down a little bit to smooth it out. Now this was in the garage, so it's kind of cold. So I'm gonna mist it down with some hot water. And then I put the cover on here. We're going to let it sit under the light while we get our seeds together. I'm just using leftover seeds. Got some lettuce. Got this microgreen mix here that we didn't use. Cabbage, spinach, cauliflower, broccoli, radishes, carrots, all this stuff. I'm going to take all these and I'm going to dump it into this cup and just make a mix. Then I'm going to take these and just shake them and mix them up. You can see it's getting nice and warm and moist in here. So at this point, we're going to take the seeds and we are just going to sprinkle them over the top. Seeds are spread out pretty even. I did not use them all. I have enough left in here for another batch or two. At this point, I'm going to take this water bottle and I give these things a generous misting. Nice and moist. Now, we're going to take this lid, put this lid back on. This is going to build up heat inside here, so all this moisture is going to stay inside here. But we don't want these lights hitting these seeds just yet. They need a blackout period. And since I'm not using a heat mat or anything, I want to keep these seeds kind of warm. So I'm going to take one of these bottoms, just like this one here, and put that over the top for now. So that's not going to allow the light in. This is going to heat up nice, and these seeds should germinate in a couple days. So in a couple days, we'll come back and see what we got. All right, so it's been four days. Let's see what we got going on under here. Look at that. Look at all them little sprouts. I've been coming here once a day and just lifting this up to get some airflow in here. And it stayed nice and humid. You got to keep the humidity in there. If it starts to get dry, I just hit it with a little water from the spray bottle. But it's been pretty good. So let's give it a couple more days and see where we're at then. Day five. Really liking where we're at right now. Pretty good germination. You'll see that some of these are smaller than the other ones. That's because we did plant many different types of plants in here. So the germination takes place at different times. But with the height a lot of these plants are at right now, it's definitely time to start exposing them to light. So I'm only going to run one of my grow lights. And now I'm going to put the plastic lid on here. And that's going to help keep this greenhouse effect going in here. Keep a lot of the moisture in here. Help some of these other seeds out. If you notice too, all this little white stuff on the bottom, it's not mold. That is just some of the roots forming on the surface. So that's not a problem at all. Another good thing about these LED grow lights is they don't get that hot either. They get a little bit warm. It's enough to keep the inside of this pretty warm. 
And we are in a cold basement here. So this little bit of warmth is going to help out these plants a lot. I'm only going to start these out with about four hours of light. It's the evening. So before I go to bed, I'll turn this off. We'll come back tomorrow. I'll probably give them four to eight hours tomorrow and just start getting them used to the light. I'm also running my light about eight inches above these plants versus the 12 or so that people usually do when they're growing microgreens. Just for the fact that some of these are just starting to germinate. I know these are going to get pretty leggy right away, but I kind of want these other ones to catch up to even it out a little bit. So we'll let these guys do their thing and come back in a few days and see where we're at. We're at day nine of the microgreens. And if you notice, I still have this lid on. I tried taking this off and I noticed the plants were getting dry. So I had to spray them a little bit. But I was keeping this on here with just a little gap, just like this. And I was giving them about six hours a day of light. Now, if you remember, we are using many different types of seeds here. So because of that, there's different germination rates. So I was trying to keep some of this moisture in here, hoping that some of these other plants would catch up. And a lot of them did. But I've seen a lot of the spinach, the kale, the broccoli, those have sprouted. They're doing really good. A lot of the radish seeds are a little bit behind. But since all these other ones are at the point where they need to be harvested, I'm going to take some scissors and I'm going to chop down all these. And once all these are out of here, I'm actually going to go back to the dark lid on here so no more lichens in here, hoping that some of these radish seeds sprout and I can get a little bit extra out of this setup. Now keep in mind that the seeds we were using were just leftovers from last year that we're not going to plant. A lot of seed packets that were left open out in the light and stuff. Wasn't even sure if they were going to germinate or not. So this is a way to reuse those seeds so we can actually get something out of them and not risk planting them in the garden and have them not germinate. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the results. Nine days, I'll probably get a couple salads out of these. And if you were really serious about growing microgreens, you can possibly go out and get a bunch of the same types of seeds to grow in here so they do all germinate at the same time and they'll fill this thing out nice. But still, these old seeds in here, nine days, I think it's pretty good. I'll be honest with you, I'm really not a huge fan of the whole microgreens thing, planting seeds and harvesting them when they're two or three inches tall. Just doesn't make much sense to me. But taking seeds, I wasn't going to use next year anyway. Giving this a shot in this small pan. Going to try these guys out, see if they taste any good. And really, if you get the right microgreen mix or at least seeds of the same type, you can fill out bigger trays and make tons of microgreens. But the seeds really aren't cheap enough to get that coverage you need to grow your microgreens. So if it's something you want to try, give it a shot. If you've got some old seeds you're not going to use, you might as well give this a shot, grow some microgreens, and see if you like it. And see if you think it's worth it. Something to do in the winter time. So as always, thanks for watching.